All right, Brad, what time are we finishing? We are going to finish at 7.45. Based on the forecast, which has kind of creeped up a little bit this week, we actually will probably start on time, thinking that's what we're looking at. Uh, being a first-timer, I'm going to go aggressively at 8.10 p.m., not a.m. <laughs> 7.51 p.m. 7.57. Seven fifteen, undoubtedly. And if we get in any sooner, I'll just screw around until we seven fifteen. <laughs> Seven fifty seven. So here we are in Cabarillo three, just a little bit after the start. We're doing pretty well, the wind's nice. It's supposed to get a little bit higher as we go, a little bit bigger as we go. Um, we're kind of neck and neck with Bly Spirit over there, and I just got wet. Um, and uh, um, Black Adder's way the hell out there, so it's about lunchtime. Kelp! So it's about 12.05, we're still having a nice steady breeze, we're about 12, 13 knots apparent, boat speed's about 6, 6, 1, 6, 2. We just can't seem to rein in good old Bly Spirit over there. We've got nice, nice distance on the rest of the fleet, but Bly is our big nemesis. Stay, stay tuned! Okay, race update number two. Uh, it's uh, 37. We're just inside of 10 miles from the Rosarito buoy. We've been chasing Fly Spirit over here for the last hour and a half since it starts. Uh, we're making some strides, but it's it's an inch here, an inch there. Uh, winds are good. Boats feeling good. Um, can't ask for a lot more than this, other than seeing Fly Spirit behind us. Uh, and that's about it. We're out. Somewhere off the coast of Mexico, over there, Trump Tower wannabe. Who wants my banana? Oh, who wants a banana? Terry's accused me of being the cradle of no wind, which is a complete falsehood. Look, we're moving. We have wind. <laughs> Terry, what you got there? It's my banana. It's organic. It's five o'clock. Uh, we are just rounding the South Island. I'm gonna show the South Island. There. Fuck the South Island. Behind us, Black Adder. 
behind them, you won't be able to get it with that camera, but Fly Spirit, you have to get one of those super talent photos to find them. Dave called some great tactics on our last rounding. Um, we just took off on everybody, and now we're holding our position. Um, uh, well, we're six tenths of an hour to this mark, and then we're on our way home, so we'll be home about uh, 7.30. but we still have Black Adder parked right behind us and Bly Spirit still a good ways back. Not quite telephoto, but nonetheless, decent park. It's a drag race straight to downtown and there's only one place we've seen the spinnaker all day. It's in the hatch. So it's 6.35. We are still about nine and a half miles from the finish and making pretty good time. Still have a decent breeze. Let's hope that continues. Uh, again, the spinnaker has been in the hatch the whole time. Three's the bell. Here. Okay, race update number X, whatever that is. Um, as you can see, we have the spinnaker up. We're going to pan over to the spinnaker. Spinnaker's up. Um, um, put it up about 20 minutes ago. We're making great strides. We're about three miles from the finish line. We still have the rest of the fleet behind us. We can't testify to the distances, but right now it looks relatively optimistic. And um, everybody other than Jeff is doing a great job too. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is now past the finish line. We had a beautiful spinnaker run right towards the very end. It was absolutely outstanding in every way. We put so much distance. Actually, I can see Blackadder right over here. It's well over 10 minutes, and we only needed five. We needed probably seven minutes on Bly Spirit. She's still over the horizon. We did it. We beat everybody. We got a great bullet. It was a great race, and we finally got the kite out of the hatch. Would you like to say anything, Mr. Dodge? Ah, uh, I would. Hold on. Let me Is just that say the cap? this. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a sharp name.